Hi guys, welcome back to Posh Incredible Tiff TV is the segment. Today I'm going to be talking about human design system. So that is like learning your body graph. And I also have a video on healing modalities, but uh, that touches on human design system. But basically I'm going to be putting the microscope under the manifester type. And here's why. It's because I'm a manifester. 8% of the population are manifestors, okay? The majority of the population believes that they are manifestors, but there are literally only 8%. There are a few unique things about manifestors, and understanding this has helped me understand my upbringing a little bit better. It's helped me understand my parents, and it's helped me understand myself. And now that I have this like basis to go off of, I know what my strategy is for the rest of life. So I really think diving deep into who you are, where you came from, what your personality is, and better understanding like your psychology and your dynamics will really help you with self-confidence. Part of understanding your self-confidence and uh, my friend Martin Bailey, uh, I did a podcast with him. You can check it out on Posh Incredible Podcast, uh, poshinc.com. But he mentioned that knowing his Myers-Briggs allows him to better understand himself and better understand why it is that he does certain things that he does. And it's because that's just who he is. And to me, that I interpret that by being more confident in your actions, being more confident in the way that you do things. Instead of feeling bad or guilty or whatever, you just say like, oh, I'm, I did that because this is how I am or this is who I am. Now, depending on where you are in your life and your spiritual journey depends on what type of modalities you're encountering along the way. So some uh, may be still at like sun signs. This is like basic astrology, sun sign, right? But if you looked at your sun sign and you were more curious about it, you would find your moon and your ascending sign. You would find your houses and your shadows and what those all meant about who you are. Then maybe you would get into like human design system and then other types of healings. So whatever your, like uh, the handprint analysis, so what, what, however deep you're, you, you are in universal like spirituality is what you're going to be bombarded with in terms of self-knowledge. If you're still very much on this physical plane or on the mind plane, then you'll encounter things like Myers-Briggs and like codependency tests and uh, other things that help you deal with where your mind is at right now. So all of those are different forms of understanding ourselves. Not one is better than the other. Some may be a little bit too out there for you, but that's okay because you're not at that level yet or you're not at that you're not living in that dimension. You haven't encountered those things. So the more you peel back your layers, the layers of the onion of yourself, the more you'll encounter things and people that deliver knowledge to you. It's a matter of your own beliefs about what you do with that knowledge. Some people don't even want to look at astrology, right? They're stuck in the mind plane or they're stuck in the mind dimension. And basically that all has to do with your belief system. You were either born with it or it was developed by your relatives or by your interactions with other people throughout time. So if you're in a place and you're watching this video and you're thinking there's like a lot of bullshit out there about astrology and like psy psychology is one of those um, modalities that's right on the edge of science and spirituality, right? So if you're like that may be a good entry a door or an entry into diving deeper into your own mind and, and stuff. Um, the only thing I want to say before I get into manifestor type is don't get too attached to what it is that you find at this point because if you say like you're oh 100% all astrology and you like really dive deep into that and you don't want to give it up for let's say something else you just want to believe what the astrology tells you then that's sort of like an addiction so you want to be 
using the information to better yourself and you have to develop a filter of discernment. I did do a video on discernment, we can link it below. And um, you're going to want to make sure that you understand what is actually true about yourself, what you need to dive deeper into, and what isn't. And you have to learn how to test those two things. So the video on discernment will help you. Anyways, let's get into manifestor type. Like I said, guys, it's 8% of the population. Manifestor, knowing that I'm a manifestor, has really helped me understand why I've had um, some issues with my family. Um, and maybe it will help you too. So basically, a manifester is somebody who can make anything happen. Literally, they can do it with the ease of like touching a button or thinking it and then it happens. And most manifester types can't understand why other people can't make things happen. It's like, it's so easy, why don't you just do it? Like, just do it. And uh, sometimes we could be a little bit like um, upset at other people for asking stupid questions. Uh, for me, being a manifester is like I uh, I, ha I run successful Amazon stores and I know how to use the platform, and I also like speak about how to use it. And other people ask me like really basic questions that are like, well, how do I optimize my listing? And I'm just like, dude, you just you just optimize it. I know that doesn't help. But they're like, or like you, you go and you figure it out. And part of the difficulty in people paying me to do stuff is that like, I'm like, why would you pay for that? Because it's just so easy to do. You know, like I don't know my own value of being able to get shit done. And so that may be something that you have. It's difficult to teach people sometimes. It's difficult to like get down to people's levels and be like, all right, these were the steps that I took to get there. Because uh, things happen so fast for us that it's hard to identify the actual steps. And sometimes we can't even uh, attribute them to things that we have done. Because sometimes we don't have to do anything to make something happen. So with that said, part of being a manifester is being able to work with other people. The joy of life is um, relationship. And being a manifester, we're like, we're always getting things done. We're always doing stuff. We're always like uh, on to the next thing. We move very quickly because we can. We're on the next project while the team is still getting caught up. So we're really good at initiating, we're initiators. And so part of our challenge is to help other people get to where we are. I'm also gonna bring a little bit of myself into this. You guys as manifestors may be experiencing other things um, in your lives, but it depends on like how your human design system works, how your body graph came back to you. And uh, this is the other thing. People will try to control you especially being at a very young age, because you can make anything happen, you likely frightened your family because you just wanted to do and do and do and they were very scared that you may hurt yourself or that you may disappear or that you may go away. And so part of that is like this struggle for control. The manifester needs to be uh, like free to do as they please because that's how we thrive. But people around us want to control us because we scare people. We are catalysts for change because that's how we thrive. But people around us don't like change. They like to stay the same. And so uh, in an energetic sense, other people are able to sense that we're going to make them change or we're going to create some sort of change and they're very afraid. So either they back away from us because we're too much or they try to control us because they're they're controlling and they're afraid um, of that change so those are a couple dynamics that you kind of need to watch out for uh, basically the strategy of the manifester is to inform while still so inform before you take action and let the other people react based on that information that you gave them while still doing your own thing. So not letting these people control you, but by letting them know what's going to happen and what you're gonna do before you do it. 
that's kind of like the detox of the manifester. Some things that may be going on with you is you may be you may have a tendency to lie or to be sneaky because as a young ch child your family wanted to control you and so you had to kind of like sneak around in order to do things that you felt like you had to do or needed to do or couldn't help yourself from doing, right? If you can tell that you make others uncomfortable then maybe you're a manifester. You basically don't need anyone else to make anything happen. The other thing is like manifestors burn out really easy. We do not, we're not generators. We don't have an exponential amount of energy. We have very little energy. And uh, because of this, we have to be very picky about the things and the projects that we work on. Because we can make anything happen doesn't mean that we should make everything happen. We should only, and patience is like part of this thing a bit about being a manifester. Like you have to learn patience because sometimes you need to wait things out in order to know if they're really good to take action on or not. And that's because we don't have the energy for them. Uh, I know for myself, I require like six to nine hours of sleep a night. When I was younger, my mom would not let me sleep that much. My mom's not a sleeper. She Maybe she's a generator or something, but uh, she's definitely not a sleeper. I wasn't allowed to take naps. Uh, so I grow up depriving myself of sleep and at certain points in my life, I was I had insomnia, like high school and college. I wasn't able to sleep at all and think about that as being somebody who has like basically low energy uh, uh, us as manifestors we're matches we're literally matches we ignite things we uh, change things and so for me being somebody I like basically had no energy at all so energy is something that I've had to like develop and cultivate and part of that is sleep my friends always make fun of me for the things that I eat, for the reasons about like not going out, for only like going out maybe like once a weekend or once a quarter by not drinking alcohol. But I think it's a valuable price. It's priceless to have the energy that I have now from rejecting all of those other things. And I don't care if my friends make fun of me because I am able to do the things that I want to do and I have the energy for them and I also have the patience and the ability to say no to stuff which by the way are other skills that you probably should develop um, being a manifester yeah basically I know that was a lot I talked a lot I gave you a lot of information but go to human design system or type in body graph into Google uh, you must know your birth date basically for most of these healing modalities um, whether it be like astrology or Chinese zodiac and body graph and fingerprint analysis and stuff like you're gonna need to know your birth date and time so that's your month your date your year your time that you were born and your city so collect those five things and then go out and have a blast trying to figure out who you are, where you came from, and why you're the person you are today. Because sometimes we need to know where we're starting in order to go end up where we need to go. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this little spiel about the manifester body type. But anyways, um, I'm not an expert, but I do study myself a lot. So if you guys have any comments or questions or things that you want me to research, please leave them below. I'd love to know what uh, what you guys are. Are you a generator? Are you a manifester? Are you a reflector? Uh, which, by the way, is the least uh, amount of the pop population. I think it's like 1%. Um, but it would be good to know what you are because then you know how you interact with other people. Anyways, guys, don't forget to check out the podcast. Don't forget to check out the links below or the other videos that were mentioned in this and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!